Legendary photojournalist Harry Benson released a new book on Paul McCartney this summer to celebrate Paul's 80th birthday. The book is called Paul. It gives an all-access look at a life spent making the world's most popular music. And Harry Benson joins us live this morning. Harry, good morning. Good morning. Nice to be here. We appreciate you joining us. And of course, we're going to talk about uh, Paul McCartney here. But, uh, you know, we've been covering the Queen's funeral all morning long. And I understand that, that you had the opportunity to photograph her over the years. Oh, yes. I photographed her oh, a long time ago for a local paper, the Hamilton Advertiser in Scotland. And, and I think my best picture came from there. She went down a coal mine and dressed all in white. It was by far my best royal picture. You also have the 2014 portrait of Queen Elizabeth uh, taken in Buckingham Palace, the official portrait of the Queen in the Scottish National Portrait Gallery. That's, that's right. It was, you know, <laughs> it, was a, it was a big honor for me having come from Glasgow, you know. I can imagine. Well, let's let's talk about how your relationship with Paul McCartney started over the years. You were you got access to the Beatles that no one else did, Harry. Well, the Be the Beatles wanted probably the publicity I could give them from the Daily Express. Then they needed me. You know, I, they needed me more. Hmm. You know, but then uh, your relationship with Paul McCartney and Linda McCartney—you you really took a lot of intimate photos of them alone, yeah, correct? That's that's true. But I'm also carrying. Uh, I'm also with a very influential newspaper, the London Daily Express, mm. and that that does carry a lot of weight in what people want to do. I'm also very charming as well. You know, <laughs> uh, you know you and we be, could right? tell. We could you tell, better. Harry. Yeah. Oh, look at this they great can... picture with Muhammad Ali. Uh, well, they didn't want to go and see Muhammad Ali because they said he was a loser and he was, um, he was a big mouth and he was going to get beaten. Oh, jeez. For his first fight with Sonny Liston. But, of course... The opposite happened, you know. And Ali, Ali completely dwarfed them. Right. They thought they were so smart. They could, you know, Liverpool talk and smart. Ali came, but Ali, but Ali put them in their place. Mm -hmm. Sit down, lie down. Don't talk to me like that. You know. Don't be smart, Ali. No, Ali, look at them. He was a way ahead of them. Yeah. Uh, you know, in all your years of photographing and working with Paul McCartney, did you ever get the impression that he didn't want you there? Said, hey, can you put the camera down for a second? I want a little time to myself. Never said that to me at all. Mm -hmm. He might have said it to other people, but as I said, I'm, I'm very charming, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, but there again, I'm carrying a, a good newspaper in my back pocket. You know, I'm carrying the London Daily Express. Right. And, uh, you know, how dare they? Uh, you know, <laughs> you know, we're giving them a lot. Yeah. You know? So is that charm how you got to take all of these pictures of the Queen as well? Oh, no, the Queen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Queen is special. Yeah. You know. It's special, and you know, you, anything you can get is a step in the right direction. <laughs> and you know, you're, you're getting close. That's my favorite picture. Yeah, that's what you said. She went down a, a coal mine, a coal mine that would be closed at two weeks after that because it wasn't safe. Wow. Um, th this this list of uh, of events that you have photographed over the years, the uh, Vietnam War protests, the Berlin Wall going down, the Afghan-Russian conflict, uh, which are the, the ones that, that stuck with you the most over the years? Well, I probably next to Bobby Kennedy when he was shot, when he was assassinated <clears throat> in the Ambassador Hotel. Wow. Mm. 
you that know, had to be unbelievable. And somebody, and then when it's somebody you know, and you like, you know, it's, it's, it, you know, you don't think about it. Yeah. And, and, and you, so you were right there. I was about probably about no more than three yards behind oh, wow. them. Wow. Oh, you've got some um, unbelievable stories to tell, Harry, and, and the book is fascinating. Uh, it's called Paul. It's a book about Paul McCartney, but it's a lot more stories to tell. It's photographer Harry Benson, who has seen it all, harrybenson.com, to see his work. Harry, pleasure to talk to you this morning. Thanks for being with us. It's a pleasure. Thank you.